Hi, I'm Eileen Hull. I design dies for Sizzix. I'm here at scrapbook.com today to show you how to put together this really cool, versatile passport book die. So as you can see, I have a couple samples here. Um, this one they've used an acrylic cover and matte board pages that they've covered with paper. Um, they have little tabs sticking out. That's really kind of fun. That's one style. And then they've bound it with a baker's twine. This book, um, she covered with paper also, and all of her pages are made from mat board. And this book here is one that I've done that I covered with burlap, I added a bunch of stuff to the front, and then I made it into like a little mixed media journal. And I've used render paper and mat board to put this one together. So I wanna just show you a couple tips that I found along the way. Um, here's our base, this is mat board. Uh, this is a scoreboard die, so it's meant to be cut from mat board or chipboard, a thicker material, of anything up to a sixteenth of an inch. You can cover it with paper, you can ink it, stamp it, do whatever you want to it. Um, this is render paper, which I have started using lately because I'm doing kind of a, a lot of inking and trying to remember how I did these different techniques. So I made a little journal using that. And so what's great about this paper is that it does not show through. No matter what you do to this side of it, it's not going to show through on the other side, which is great if you like to art journal. So I've used those for my pages and mat board. Here's the die itself. So there are three parts to it. This is the cover. This is the binding, and you'll see these little um, score lines here. It's an adjustable binding, so you can do a 3 8 inch one, or you can do a 1 and 1 8 inch binding. And then this here is the page. That's one page, a double page, I guess, because there's a score in the middle. So you can cut your covers, your binding, and your pages all from this one die. Okay, so I'm just going to run this through my machine. I'm going to make sure that I cover all areas of the die and it's a little tight here, but it all fits. So I'm going to make my Sizzix sandwich and roll this through. And then I'll show you the different parts. Now this one is a die where you're going to have to cut two covers. And we'll also need more than one page. So I'll show you how to do that. And it's, it's great because you can cut them out of paper. You can cut them out of mat board. Um, the render paper, whatever you'd like. So here is our page. You can see it's got that score line in the middle. So you're just going to fold that over. That will fit inside the book. Here's our binding. We have a little rubber on there, but that's fine. So if you wanted to make a thin book, you would just fold it there. If you want the thicker book, you would fold it there. So you're just going to take that and lay it on the edge of the table fold it all the way over and that breaks the fibers and it makes it easier to manipulate when you're working with the book. So here's our binding, here's our cover, and here's our page. So I want to show you how to put that together. Um, there are all different ways you can decorate it as you can see and there are even more if you want to come over to my blog EileenHull.com. Um, here is a binding strip that I already inked and got ready to go. So I'm going to just turn that over. And I have already cut and decorated some pages of, from using matte board. And here I've embossed a page and I've colored it using my uh, color box blends inks. Here I did a letterpress technique using the inks. So it's really fun to try different things. Here I, I took a mister and I just misted the top and let it drip down. That was fun. And then in here I used my blends to create a background and then I stenciled and I put um, embossing paste on top of that to create a nice little pattern there. And then more of the misting. And then on this one, I did kind of the same thing. But I love these colors, and um, it's just fun. And then I can remember how I did it. So here are my three mat board pages. Now, I have not decorated my render pages yet. But as you can see, there's like that little fold line. So I'm just going to fold these over. Um, or you can just bend them in half. Um, I have one, well, I have these covers. I've already done these, and these were cut using uh, burlap. I put um, adhesive underneath, uh, burlap on top. I cut two of them, and then I used a little deco foil and glue to kind of give some color to that. So 
this will be the covers to our book. So I would adhere those together. But when I, when I want to bind my book, I, a lot of times I'll just take my binding strip. It's easier to work with that and bind it, and then I put the covers on. So I'm using some real leather craft lace to put this book together. So what I did was I just cut a length, and I'm threading it through the page first. So you're going to want to just make sure you have equal amounts. Pull that tight. And then you're just going to thread it through the binding. Very easy. And you pull that tight. I like to lay it flat, lay both pieces flat. And then because I think this is a natural fiber, but if you're working with natural fibers, they will tend to relax a little bit. So you want to get them nice and tight when you tie them. So if you want to have a friend help hold that, you're not. So you can just leave it like that for now. I do tend to trim, trim them off because uh, once you get a bunch of strings going, it, they get all messed up. So there's one page. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my two more mat board pages in just the same way that we did. So you're going to have three, three strings going that way. And then I'll show you how to do the paper pages. So now we have tied in all of our mat board pages. So you can see there's a little gap in between. And that's where we're going to place our paper pages. So we're not going to use the little notches. We're not going to tie it in that way that we just did the other ones. We're going to do it differently. We're going to take our piece of twine or whatever it is that you're tying. And if you look on the top of the die, you'll see a little notch. So you're going to tie your page into the notch and just wrap it around the whole part of the page. Just slip it through that whole middle section. You have to, this stuff likes to stick, so you want to make sure you get it even. And you can tie your, sign your these are called signatures, each little page. Um, you can tie them all into the middle. You can put charms on here. You can decorate them, do whatever you'd like. And you also could put more than one in here. This book will fit uh, probably 20 to 30 paper pages. So you could put you know, five in at a time if you wanted. OK, so now you have your book. And you'll have three of these going over each notch. And then you're going to put it in your pages. Now, I've done this out of burlap. so. You could use either hot glue, you can use a wet glue, or you could use a tape. For this, I think I would use a wet glue because all these little bumps here, uh, if you just did tape, you wouldn't have good contact with the whole um, strip. So I would use glue and let it sink in, and then you're just going to place that in here. Or you could put the glue on the back and put it on top. So that is how to put together the passport book. Hope you have fun.